Hi there, this is Mary at the Mary TA, and I wanted to show you my progress in my workbook, my working playground area for the Holiday Art Journal. I've talked about this in two other videos, and in my live streams, I showed where I did the Coptic stitch and glued it together and then glued the put glue on the base of the Coptic stitch and glued the lace on top. And I'm really happy with how flat the journal is opening and the pages, how they are turning nice. And I want to share with you some of my, let me zoom in a little if I can, my pages. Well, I think you can see them fairly well. I have a preface page, and then I have where I'm planning everything out. I'm going to make a holiday art journal, but I want the holiday art journal to be sort of a final copy, and this is where my workbook, my planning area, for all my 101 lifetime, 100 lifetime, maybe 101 lifetime holiday memories. And I've started to record in here a list of holiday memories right at the very back and I think I'm up to like 50 55 of them and I'm shooting for a hundred and I'm including the holidays of Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas and the Epiphany and I'm going across my whole lifetime I'm sharing with you memories that I have personal for holiday. So I made a list, and then I've numbered all my pages. I think I have a 147 pages in this workbook area, and I'm planning out everything. This is my initial planning. And then I have some blank notes, blank pages for notes on page uh, 15 is where I'm going to start writing down my memory. So back here on the index on page, well, 93, I don't have the page number, but I have Christmas red robes. I always got a red robe at Christmas from my mother. <laughs> and this is one of my uh, kind of humorous, I think in the end, toward her later years, when I had so many red robes, I think she snitched one of them. I was wearing them herself. <laughs> So I'm going to edit that on whatever page, let's just say it's my first one here, and I'm going to tell that little story in here. The holiday journal itself is going to be a written journal. I may have a few um, a few illustrations in it, but it's going, it's going to be a memory journal, a written journal, and I'm doing it on really pretty paper that I've got from Jacqueline at Lovely's Crafting Lodge. Here it is right here. So, and my writing is going to go on another sheet of paper that I will attach here. And I may put something else on it, just to maybe some washi tape or a decorative element in here. But before I write it, I want to edit what I'm writing and formalize it and make it really nice. So, it will be a way to share my holidays with you, and it's just the way that I can look back over my lifetime of holiday memories. But this is the workbook area. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I love how flat it is. So I have an index and a contents page, and I put little square areas in here for my planning, so I'm really ready to start writing down my memories. Uh, if I don't get a hundred of them, out as I'm writing, I may think of another one. Like I said, I think I'm up to like 55 or 57, up in that in the 50s of memories. And I would really challenge you to do something like this. It, it, it as you get older, you have these memories, and they're it's nice to look back on your life and and think about the holidays. So I just wanted to share with you my progress on here, and I will be sharing in various videos, various live streams, maybe shorts, uh, a holiday memory that I start and I actually put in here. I'll probably share with you how I do this 
journal too. I will do it with the Coptic stitch again. And I will probably remove this. I'm, I'm going to keep the beautiful gold cover here. But I'll probably, this was lettered in my lap. <laughs> this was a library book or a book that my mother had. I'm not sure where it came from. But I'm going to do this same type of binding here. I don't want the journal to become any larger than this. So as I document these pages, I will be sharing these during the holidays. So just a quick short video of me sharing with you the progress in my workbook area. And this is so fun for me to do. I would encourage you to do something like this. It really, it, it's really a planner but it's, it, it, you know, it, it's, I'm not, I'm really kind of a go do it person, but taking the time to plan and think through this, if you really want a nice result, this is the way to go. So just a little share. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.